Today is an exciting day. The van is going to become a camper van. I think in the last video uh, we managed to get all the camping pods finished. I've still got to do a little bit of work back there but it's time to make a start on the kitchen and that's really what turns what essentially is just a fancy painted insulated van with some boxes in the back into something more of a camper van. What we've ended up with is we've split up the van into thirds and the front third is the seating area with the back seats the middle third is the kitchen and the back third is the bedroom and that's left us with about 1.2 meters uh, of kitchen space and it's all going to be on this side fairly simple uh, but it's time to start laying it out one thing i would mention is don't get over obsessed with the planning stage it's great to have some sketch up drawings and sketches and cad and all that and I did go through all that, but you can get a bit of obsessed with it. And of course, if you haven't got a van yet, then you might need that to keep you going. But until you've actually got the van and got all your appliances, it's very hard to know if the kitchen's actually gonna work. So I've designed this millimeter perfect on the laptop, but actually it's probably gonna be quite some, you know, a little bit different at least. So we're gonna pull everything in, prop it up, rig it together somehow and then kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like. Right, a bit of an explanation on what's going on here. So we've got the fridge, really simple install that one hopefully, so that's just going to go there, all 12 volt, happy days. Then this is the duplex oven, which is really light actually, um, that's going to go under the counter, actually it's going to go about midway up and it'll be on this side, sink is going to be above that, the gas hobs will be in the worktop up here. In addition to that I've got to somehow fit in this which is our gas locker. This is an optional um, re a sealed locker of some sort is fine but this is the route we've gone. So there's a strap in here, the bottle will be in there, there'll be a drop out vent which I purchased which will go through the floor and then this will be secured to the floor as well. And then I guess we'll just drill through and take our um, gas out the back. And of course, we're probably gonna route everything to make sure it's all gonna fit. And then it'll all get signed off anyway um, by a gas safe engineer. So I'll give you a quick look at what I managed to do on SketchUp a few months ago. And then we'll see if that works in reality by propping it up with paint cans. Then if we've got space, we'll have a pull out larder unit at this end and at the back of that access by flipping these seats up we'll have the gas locker down there. I will keep that kind of divider up a little bit higher we'll have a bit of a splashback maybe tiled um, but we'll have to wait and see.
bit of a pain to get everything as square as possible and to fit. What I wanted to do is make sure I get those two end pieces in and then I've got a designated space to work with, otherwise it was a bit of guesswork. Just made a story stick, well, story board of some sort. So this I know is 115 long. So I've taken a bit of a break from the kitchen. There was just too much head scratching going on there. So I've moved back onto the upper cabinets. This is the first thing we started a few months ago uh, and I'm now gonna try and get them in. And there's a few little details, I guess, that might be worth sharing. The way I'm gonna fix this to the roof, rather than build a big cabinet and then screw the cabinet up, like I said in the past, this is gonna be uh, all it is, just a simple face frame here which will be attached to the uh, to the roof. And then in the back of here, there'll be a slot, which our plywood base, 5mm plywood base, will slot into that way, and then it'll sit on a ledge the other side. Now the way I'm looking at attaching this to the roof, rather than using a tiny little kind of 18mm by 18mm square bead along there, screwing into the ceiling and then into the wood, I've got some really nice lightweight um, angle aluminium and this is 25 one way by 20 the other so we can hide it either way but I think what I'll do is put the widest part against the ceiling and then uh, the other bit will be down just in case it interrupts all our hinges. So if you remember way back when we had the strips on the ceiling, uh, on, on the ribs of the roof which were bonded and screwed in so there's a really good anchor point there. So I'm going to grab a magnet in a minute and just hover over to find where those screws are and that's where we'll put a couple of bigger fixings because these cabinets, the weight will actually be hanging from the top as well as on the sides there. But for the first fix, I'm going to just put the aluminium up, a little bit of uh, adhesive I've got already open, so I might as well use that, and then screw it up tight. take our frame and to cut that groove along the back edge. update on the brain teaser that is the kitchen uh, I'm slowly getting there we've, of course we've put our support in on the sides and back for the worktop we're now just working on these dividers so I've got uh, a 12mm ply here 
and there'll be another one that comes across here, the other side of the fridge, which splits it into the three sections. I've made a start working out what height I want things. So right down at the bottom here, in amongst the paint cans, you can see that I've gone in, I think about 60 mil, or maybe 50 mil in, 60 mil high, just as like a bit of a toe space, uh, like, like you'd have under a cabinet. It's just a much more comfortable way of standing at a kitchen. So that will be faced off with a little um, kind of toe plate down there. And then we're going to have a face frame all the way around. So I've put in a support here, uh, which will carry a board across for the oven to sit on. It's then got to have batten secured either side and the instructions call for all sorts of... Uh, clearances and spacings and d different dimension batten which we're sticking pretty close to uh, so that'll give it all the uh, tick all the boxes there now above here there'll either be a small little locker for washing up stuff uh, before the sink starts or maybe just a full storefront but it's quite a bit of space so I don't want to waste that and then down below it there'll be a deep full depth pan drawer then I'm just working out with this uh, fridge unit here, I'm, because I'm kind of raising up the bottom of the cabinets for that uh, toe space, I'm going to drop the fridge down lower. A little tip is the van that we hired a couple of years ago, the fridge was pretty much on the floor and it was a bit of a nightmare because for one you're going to be standing in front of it, but also anything on the floor, just a shoe or a sock or anything, uh, the door would catch and it wouldn't take, uh, it wouldn't open cleanly and also if your floor isn't perfectly level then it will catch so by having that 50 60 mil uh, raised bottom to all the cabinets everything's off the floor and um, but, but I'm going to drop the fridge down nice and low and that's going to give me two drawers ab above it um, and I've just got to figure out the hob should be here tomorrow figure out how that's going to play because it's going to cut into this section slightly so we might need to kind of scallop out top of the carcass. Apologies that video is a little bit disjointed. Uh, basically for the last two weeks I've been flat out doing whatever I can whenever I can on the van. So the footage and the jobs I was doing aren't quite as consistent as they used to be. Uh, so what I have done is I'm starting to piece together more vlog style videos where I will just simply cut together a video of everything I've got done in a day or over a period of time and upload that as a video. In the future we might come to piece things together into more project specific uh, videos but I haven't really got the time to do that at the moment and I'd rather get the footage up there so you guys can benefit from it and you can see what's going on and kind of keep up to date with how things are. If you want to give yourself a bit of a spoiler you can head over to the Instagram account or to our Facebook page where you can see some more up-to-date photos and uh, there's a bit of a lag between editing these videos and getting them up so um, if you want to see a little bit more of uh, the work that's going on and been going on the last week or two you can go there so with all that in mind expect the next half a dozen videos or so fairly rapid succession however they will be like I said a little bit more relaxed less editing a little bit more of a vlog style um, update sort of diary of the van conversion and then in the future we might piece together a full build documentary no idea what's coming up in the next video uh, simply because I haven't edited it yet but I'm pretty sure it's going to involve some lighting a little bit more of the electrics the battery setup and possibly some worktop build um, but you'll just have to wait and see once I've dug my way through all that footage. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you can do so by clicking down below. As I said, loads of videos coming up in the next fortnight or so, uh, so please do that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.